Hi everyone, it's Laura. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another Rewind Plan with me. And for this week, I'm going to be using a gorgeous kit called Lunar from Christine's Paper Studio. I do have a discount code for her shop. It's Laura30 to save 30%. Her shop is currently on vacation, but it will be opening up in June. So make sure you are following her on Instagram to get all of the updates. I love her kit format to be honest it's like one of my favorites she has a four page kit but I find like it has absolutely everything you need. I'll quickly walk through the format here, but uh, on the first page, we have our gorgeous nine full boxes and the foiling is just like so beautiful. I love the silver with all of these like cool blues and purples. It's so pretty. Up here in the corner, we do have some little scallop corners as well. And then on the next page, we just have a ton of boxes, which are amazing. Even up here in the top, she includes extra stickers. Like we have some more like washi strip type stickers and then a few arrows as well. And then you have lots of different formats here. You have scallop boxes, you have notched corner boxes. Some have foil, some don't. You have a good mix of like third size boxes, quarter size boxes, as well as like a few half boxes boxes down here which is just like a really really good mix. I'm glad that she doesn't have like an overabundance of half boxes because I tend to use more of these like smaller style. And then down here at the bottom you do have a few like layering pieces as well. You have a flag, a little like doily circle, and then a hexagon as well. This next page here, you have your sidebar stuff as well as your habit trackers, some longer flags. I love all of this stuff down here. These like circle wreaths are some of my favorite items from her shop. You do have a scallop circle um, with like the single line and then the double line along the bottom. We have our bow checklist flags, some flags here as well as two sets of headers. And then you do have a third set of headers on the final page here, as well as your date covers and a bottom washi, which is oh so beautiful. I cannot wait to lay this down. So without further ado, let me speed through the base and I will be back to take you through the day by day. So let's start off with Monday here. Monday was Victoria Day here in Canada. So um, I had the day off work. It's a statutory holiday. Commonly, it is referred to as May 2-4 or May 2-4 weekend. To be honest with you, I have no idea why it is called May 2-4. Um, rarely does it ever actually happen on the 24th of May? It just happened to this year, um, but I don't think it has anything to do with the 24th. Honestly, I could be wrong, but I truly don't know. All I know is it's a stat holiday and I had the day off. So I'm actually using this freebie here from Letters from Lay and she had a day off script on it. So I thought that was perfect to market. And then just the long flag from the kit. 
So given that I had uh, the day off, uh, one of my girlfriends and I, we decided to do a little bit of a hangout. Uh, we went down to the lake shore and we brought some, some yummy Greek food and we just had a park date. Uh, and it was really, really nice to see her. Um, she had a baby a few months ago and I've only seen her once since then. So it was really nice to get to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with her because also, I guess the only other time that I've seen her since the baby was for um, bridesmaid dress shopping. And to be honest, we really didn't get to spend that much time together because we were so focused on, um, you know, finding her dress and she was, you know, in and out of the change room. So we didn't get to spend a ton of time together. So it was nice to have this day to, um, you know, just catch up uh, and, you know, hear all about her life now. Obviously having a baby definitely changes you know your lifestyle and of course she had so many adorable stories to tell me so I was I was pretty excited to see her and uh, she brought her daughter with her which was also really exciting um, I am not a baby person I will admit I get kind of uncomfortable around babies I feel like I don't have that that motherly instinct in me, but I still love babies and I loved, um, you know, hanging out with her and her daughter. It was really fun. But she was also, you know, talking to me about motherhood and things that she's experiencing and going through. And man, it, it sounds like a wonderful time in her life, but it also sounds incredibly difficult. And so my hat's off to all of the mothers and parents out there. It just, it really is, you know, one of the toughest jobs in the absolute world. So uh, just hearing her stories, I was, yeah, in awe of her and all the things that she's doing. So we had our little bestie date in the park. Um, and then also I had to come home that day and start a digital training course that I had neglected all weekend. It was something that my work had put out months ago, like literally back in... March, I think. Yeah, I want to say March. And I didn't think it was training at my level. Like I just assumed it was for people who are digital leads. Um, so in my line of work, you have like uh, subject matter experts. And I assumed that this training was for digital people specifically, and it turns out that I was wrong. So I ended up having to do the training even though I didn't expect it. And so um, I ignored email after email saying, hey, you know, you have to do this training. And I just thought like, oh, that's not for me. And anyway, it came down to the fact where uh, the head of digital actually like emailed me and was like, yeah, you know, you have to do this training as well. Are you planning on completing it? And I said, I'm so sorry. So I spent uh, a couple hours on my long weekend finishing up that training. I felt so embarrassed, but hey, it's done now. And to be honest, it was fairly easy. It was a little daunting in the beginning because they said it was about a five hour training course. But what I learned is you can speed up the videos to two times speed. So I was like listening to them really, really fast and I got it done way quicker. And uh, you had to do like quizzes and stuff with it, but they were, they were totally easy. So that is for marking my digital training that I did. And then also the Leafs played this night. So they had game three of the playoffs. And we also, I was gonna mark in here that we had Greek food, um, which I guess I can still do that. I got a Greek salad. So I was gonna use these salad stickers from Tassel Planner. I'm gonna put that in. To mark my salad, I'm just gonna use this scallop label here. And I feel like, I think actually this light purple probably matches the best. That's cute. So that is for my Greek salad, which I'm gonna keep that handy because we did order Greek later on in the week as well. And then to mark the leaf game, I'm going to use one of these bows from Clever Gal Crafts. This is in the flurry colorway. And then I do have my leaf game script from Kinsey's Creations. 
and I think they won this game. So that was really good. Uh, they were up in the series at that point, which always feels awesome. So that is it for Monday. So first thing on Tuesday, I did have a haul go live this day. So I'm gonna use one of these gorgeous floral, what are they called? Floral wreaths from Christine's Paper Studio. Perfect for this spread. I just think it looks so adorable. And then we have these sticker sheets from Planner Just For You, which I do have a discount code for her shop now. So that will be in the description box if you wanna check it out. And then I have a haul live script from Letters to Apollo, which of course I just ripped it, but it's okay because I'm gonna cut it anyway. And thank you guys again for all the love on my latest haul video. There is something, I don't know, you guys seem to love hauls. Uh, I always get like a ton of awesome comments and just people messaging me. And uh, I definitely keep an eye on things like the like to dislike ratio and hauls are definitely a popular um, video on my channel. So I always really appreciate it and I appreciate all the love and support, so thank you all for that. So that haul went live, and then to be honest, this happens to me every time there is a long weekend. I have a really hard time getting back into the groove of work after a long weekend. This is nothing new for me, it just always seems to happen this way, and Tuesday, nothing new here. Um, I had zero motivation to work. It was next to impossible for me to focus or um, like, and there. it's also like I'm working from home too, which um, it's harder for me to stay motivated when I'm at home, uh, when I'm in that mood of like, I just don't want to be here. I don't want to work. So it was kind of a frustrating day and like it stresses me out even more knowing that um, I'm procrastinating and that I have a ton of work to do and I'm just not doing it. So yeah, the stress level was very high this day and yeah, I just had zero motivation to work at all. Also this day, um, I had an insanely awesome happy mail day. Like every package that I was like kind of waiting for or I knew was in Canada arrived this day. So it felt awesome. There was even packages that I wasn't expecting to arrive for a while that came like out of nowhere. And I am the queen of tracking my packages. Like I literally check on those updates constantly. So the fact that it surprised me that it arrived so fast, like, yeah, it was a really, really good happy mail day. Canada Post was on their game this day. I want to add maybe a little bit of a foil divider or something on here. Um, this scallop, by the way, is from Panda Bird Design and it actually was featured in this haul that went live that day. So make sure you check that out if you want to see all of the stickers that I picked up recently. So let me add in here. This is another um, piece of oil from the Letters from Lay freebie. I love all these different like dividers and floral pieces, super cute. Oh, that kind of looked cute if I would have like put the florals on top of the scallop there, but that's okay. All right, so to mark my awesome happy mail day, I have these little envelopes from White Deer Stationery. And then I do have a Happy Mail script, which I think I'm gonna cut this up too. This is from Letters to Apollo. There we go. Oh no, I ripped it. Okay, sticker surgery. Just like stuck to my finger, it didn't wanna come off. All right, that's better. So I also had um, an intern join my team this day and I'm actually gonna put it at the bottom even though she started obviously at the beginning of the day. Um, but I'm gonna mark it down here because I wanna put the leaf game 
in the middle and I don't want it to look kind of odd. So to mark her starting or her first day, I'm going to use one of these desk calendars from Crafts by Tally. I wasn't really sure how to mark an intern starting on my team. So I don't know, the little calendar seemed like my best option. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys would have used because that was like really baffling me. Like a computer, I don't know, that seemed kind of obvious. I whatever anyway so we have a calendar there to mark her first day and then as i mentioned we had a leaf game this day which they won this game as well so they were up three to one in their playoff series which is so exciting it finally felt like the leafs were going to um win their first round of the playoffs but uh just goes to show you cannot count your chickens before they hatch. So anyway, that was game four, which they won. And that is it for Tuesday. So let's shift over to Wednesday. So Wednesday did not start out very well. I had an incident with my cat this morning, which I feel like I never talk about my cat, um, but I have a black cat named Wilma and she's actually uh, my fiance's cat that he got um, with his ex-girlfriend, <laughs> which I think I've talked about my feelings on that stuff before, but anyway. Um, so Wilma, lately, I don't know why she's doing this, um, but she has not been using her litter box and she decided that outside of our bedroom door was the place that she wanted to go number two. And I like didn't turn on the light. I was like going to get something out of the, the dryer, I think. And I completely stepped right in it. So thank you to Wilma for that. Um, this little black cat sticker is from the Whimsical Cat, uh, but that's to mark Wilma being very bad this morning. So a little frustrated, not the greatest way to start my day. And this day, my motivation to work like still hadn't come back and I knew I have this like really big project coming up and I'm still I'm still procrastinating on it a little bit. I should probably be working on it right now instead of filming, but I just my mind isn't in it and um my job is very strategy focused and so you have to be thinking and you know analyzing and asking a lot of questions to find the right answers and i just can't do it lately my mind is just not in it and like I said, I always have this struggle when I'm coming from a long weekend, but this week it literally dragged out through the entire week. Normally it's like a day, but I couldn't refocus. And so this day I was getting like really down on myself and really just angry that I couldn't focus or that I wasn't, you know, being disciplined enough to focus. And so it was just like a really, you know, in my feelings type of day. After work though, Mike and I decided to watch some of The Office and it's literally almost over. I feel like we just started it and we're already almost finished it and I'm just dreading it. I, I don't want it to end. And also we don't have another show kind of lined up and so I just, oh, I don't want it to end. It's so funny, it's so good. I really do enjoy it. So I was thinking of using this chair um, from Crafts by Towie to mark watching The Office, but I don't like that it's on the other side here. Maybe I can put something in before that. Okay, actually I'm still gonna use this box, but I am gonna mark that um, I watched TikTok for a significant amount of time this night. I think I just needed something to, um, like turn my brain off a little bit and to relax and unwind. Even though I had a full long weekend to do that, I just needed to, I don't know, be distracted. So TikTok is obviously a great distraction. So I had a good time uh, binging some TikToks. And then as I mentioned, going to put the office just down in here. So to mark the office, I'm gonna pull in another one of these wreath boxes but this one is from the kit and then the chair with the blanket from crafts by towie 
perfect. And then the only other thing that I wanted to mark was that I did a little bit of reading um, at the end of the evening. I think I mentioned this maybe in my last plan with me, but I started one of my um, favorite books and I don't even know why it's a favorite book, but it just is. Um, but it's called Something Borrowed. Of course, there was like a movie about it, but um, it's just one of those books that I continuously go back to and it doesn't even make sense that I enjoy the book so much because it's really at the end of the day about a cheating fiance so you would think I wouldn't be into that but it's one of those books that I've just read it so many times and it is a complete comfort read to me so I continuously go back to it year after year and I don't know it's just, I feel like it's one of those books that maybe it means more to me from a nostalgia standpoint than it's like actually a good book. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I read that. Um, I did end up finishing it this week as well, but um, this was just me going through a little bit of it. So that is the first half of the week. So Thursday morning, I started out with a little bit of me time. That's become like my regular Thursday morning routine because my Thursdays are always jam packed with meetings usually from nine all the way to five. So I like to start off the day just like in a chill mood. So I typically do a little bit of self care to start off the day. I also typically use Thursdays as like my rest day and I don't work out. So it just gives me a little bit more time in the morning to do that stuff anyway. So I'm going to use these tweezers here from Tasseled Planner to mark a little bit of self-care in the morning. I'm also gonna put my morning coffee up at the top. I don't always mark it, but sometimes I'm just in the mood too. So I'm gonna use one of these hexagons from Saucy Stickers Co. to mark that. And how adorable are these little coffee machines from Tasseled Planner. Ugh, I miss her shop so, so much. I think we'll use the purple coffee machine. And then I have a morning coffee script from Murdoch Talks. It's gonna kind of cover it up, but I'll try and off-center it a little bit. It doesn't bother me too much that the um, M is hanging over the side. Oh, the foil is a little bit scratched there, but that's okay. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but on the G, it's just like missing a little bit of foil. That might have been from an oops sheet or something. All right, so I'm going to keep those handy and also mark down here that I took Daisy for a walk. I believe I took her for a walk after work, but I can't. It's Yeah, it definitely was after work this day. So let's put in... I'm thinking maybe another one of these. I really like these. Um, actually, let's go with a half scallop instead. These are cute. And from White Deer Stationery, I have a collar to mark Daisy's walk and a walk script from Murdoch Talks. Perfect. I'm also just gonna put at the bottom before I forget that the Leafs did play this night. So it was their opportunity, uh, game five, to clinch the series and um, eliminate Montreal. Unfortunately, they did not do that. So um, they had game six on Saturday. So I'll probably put that in as well. And it's my final Leaf game script. So I'm just gonna mark it. Hopefully everything will work out. So the bow should be on this side. I probably should have waited, but I just didn't wanna forget about it. But this is my final Leaf game script. I'm so bummed about that. I've got them in other foil colors, but I tend to use silver quite a bit. So, all right, so we've got those two in there. Neither one of these games, the Leafs won, which oh, don't even get me started on, but 
yeah. So now we're forced into a game seven and it's do or die for Toronto. And let's just say I'm really hoping for a win. All right, so also we did have pizza this night. So I'm gonna mark pizza night with one of these girls from Fox and Pip. She is adorable. I feel like I need something behind it though. Maybe, maybe a flag. Um, yeah, or I don't know, I'm second guessing myself now. Let's see. Yeah, let's do one of these really pretty flags. I'm loving all of the rich blues and purples in this kit. It's so stunning. Everything is like very concentrated in terms of the color too. So it's gorgeous. And then I'm just going to write next to that that we had pizza. So I'm going to move her up slightly. Perfect. So that was Thursday. Let's get over here to Friday now. So Friday we have what's called is Focus Fridays. And I told myself for this Focus Friday, I am going to make up for all of the, you know, slacking that I did this week. And I have zero meetings on Friday. So I am just going to be the most productive I could possibly be and get a ton of stuff done. So that was my plan. So Friday morning, I you know got right to work. I dug right into the project that I needed to focus on and I was feeling really good about the progress that I was making and uh, my motivation just like totally came back and I just felt like I was, I was really in it and I was feeling good. So I, you know, sent my boss a note and I said, I think I finally cracked something uh, in terms of the strategy. I'm feeling really good, um, but there's like a couple things that I'm stuck on. So I just, I want to bounce it off of you and see if my thinking makes sense. And that happens a lot when you're talking about strategy. It's good to not let it be an opinion of one. It's important to, um, you know, get other people's opinions on it because sometimes strategy can be, can be bias. So I messaged her and she was like, yeah, I'm free after lunch. I said, great. Uh, and we, you know, set up a time and I booked it in her calendar. <laughs> and then I meet with her and the first thing she said to me was, you know, looks good, but I think you're getting too in your head and you're too media about it, which I, wor I work in media, so I do media strategy. So it makes sense that I was coming at it from a media perspective, but I get what she was saying. And basically what she was trying to get at is the fact that like it was too complicated or it was too, um, like you almost have to be in media to understand it. And I totally get where she's coming from in that sense and how, you know, we have to make sure that it's a strategy that clients can comprehend and not um, speaking to ourselves. So I took the feedback and then, you know, we were talking and, and chatting through ways of, you know, fixing it and really making it a sound strategy. And she's, she admitted to me, she's like, I know I'm making this, you know, I'm, I'm overthinking it too. And it's easy to get caught in your head. But she was like, I feel really good about the place that we're in. And I was like, okay, I don't, but uh, we'll go with it. And anyway, got off the phone with her and I just, I couldn't do it anymore. I was like, you know what? I put this off all week because I was stressed about it. And then I tried to come back to it and, you know, make it as best as I could and it still wasn't good enough and I was like I just I can't do this right now so I decided to take a break <laughs> again even though I told myself that Friday was going to be my focus day I just wasn't in it again after you know feeling so motivated and pumped and then the conversation with my boss just kind of turned me off so and it, it's no fault of her own I totally get where she was coming from and why she was giving me the feedback that she did 
but it just put me again not in a good headspace so I decided to shut down for the day and I told myself oh over the weekend I'll definitely you know get this done and yeah I still have not touched it so Ugh, I'm procrastinating and you guys can probably tell just in the way that I'm talking like I, it's really really bothering me and it's really stressing me out but I just can't find the motivation to actually get it done so anyway it, it is my next thing on my list so once I have finished filming this video I'm hoping that I can take some time to you know refocus myself and get into it and just I don't know try and get on the right path and find the answer for this strategy. Ugh, I'm like dreading it already. But anyway, so also on Friday, Fantasy Wax had new releases. So I placed an order with some friends and she had a Little Mermaid collection, which was just like, oh, I, every scent sounded amazing. So I cannot wait to get those. And then also on Friday, um, as I mentioned, we did order Greek food again. So again, I got my Greek salad, which is like one of my favorite meals with chicken on it. It was really, really yummy. So I think we'll do maybe this box here. Actually, I'm gonna put this at the bottom because I also watched the Friends reunion special and I feel like that deserves a larger box here. So I have a TV from Crafts by Towie to mark that. It's a little bigger than I actually thought it was. That's okay. So that is for the Friends reunion, which was very emotional to be honest with you. I think I cried more than I laughed throughout the special, but it's just like so many memories and oh, it was so good. And it was cool to see the cast perspective on everything. Like they're so interesting. So I really did enjoy it. And I think seeing the bloopers was probably my favorite part of the whole thing though. It just looked like they had so much fun on set. All right, I was going to put my little bowl here for my salad. I thought it might look a little empty. Maybe I can move this scallop up to create a bit more room up here. Okay. I was gonna put like a flag or something with the salad, but I think that's all right. It's already looking a little bit cluttered. So that is it for Friday. Again, I don't know, not a very exciting day in my opinion, but Saturday, Saturday is where it's at. So I picked up a rental car this morning and I'm gonna use this here. And I have a car actually, so I'm gonna put this on the other side. just like that and a car sticker from White Deer Stationery. So I just picked it up from Enterprise, which is typically where I go to pick up my vehicles. So there's that. And the reason I needed a vehicle was because I was going to have my dress fitted this day, my very first appointment. Um, and I was so beyond excited to finally get to see my dress again and to try it on. Um, if you don't follow my Instagram, I actually recently posted that I have hit 49 pounds down. I still have not hit 50 pounds. Um, for some reason, my body just wants to stay at 49 pounds down. So anyway, um, it was nice to see, like, I was curious to see what my dress was going to look like now that I've lost almost 50 pounds and I wanted to, you know, I kind of forgot what it looked like too, to be honest. So I was over the moon excited and I actually, when I was ordering my dress, I ordered a size 
bigger than I needed um, because that's what the girl at the um, bridal boutique had recommended because I, even though I told her I was planning to lose weight, I think she kind of figured, well, everybody's planning on losing weight and I don't think she believed maybe that I could. So she told me to order a size up and when I went to my fitting, the girl told me, she was like, no, you definitely should have got a size, like your true size at the time. Because yeah, she's like, if you knew you were gonna lose weight, like you should have just gone with it. Because she said, the back of your dress is a corset. Like regardless, we could have figured it out. And I was like, so mad that she even said that. Cause it's like, well darn. And so now my alterations are significantly more um, because the dress is quite large on me. And as I mentioned, it's a corset back. So um, the back of my dress, even when it's as tight as possible, um, you can't make it any tighter. So she has to actually remove from the sides of my dress, like the, the, the bodice, I guess you would say. She has to remove from it and it's all, you know, crystal and um, pearls and lace. So she has to do a lot of reconstruction on it, which uh, it bums me out. But I'm also glad that like I ended up losing weight and now my dress is going to be you know, fit to me and I'm excited about it. And um, my seamstress, she's actually a costume designer and she just like seems so competent and just knowledgeable about fashion and accessories and everything. Like I am, you know, more than confident that she'll do an amazing job. And her prices were super reasonable, which I can appreciate that. So this is to mark my dress fitting. My mom and my sister did join me for my dress fitting, which was so sweet of them to come up for that. Like they definitely didn't have to. So I appreciated having them there. And then when I got home, we decided to take Daisy for a bit of a walk. Um, and since I had a car, we decided to go to a place that we'd never gone to before. So near our house, um, there is a place um, called Etobicoke Creek Trail. And it's just like a nice little conservation area, but it's like a paved trail, which is so handy. I didn't want to get Daisy all dirty and muddy. So I was like a paved trail sounds great. So we brought her there and honestly, the walk was amazing. We were out for about two hours. Um, we walked nine kilometers, which I felt like so good about. Like it just felt like we had, you know, gotten a lot of exercise that day. So that was great. But then we got home and I was petting Daisy and just like playing with her. And I looked at her and I was like, what's that? So Daisy is a white dog. So I notice everything on her. Well, looked at her neck and sure enough, there was a tick on her like neck, like close to where her collar is. And I just about lost it. I have never seen a tick before, uh, but I knew that's exactly what it was. And anything to do with Daisy, I am a wreck. Like anything, anything. I just am so super protective of Daisy and she's, you know, she's my baby. And so to see this like gross little bug on her, I was so, ugh, I hated it. Anyway, we figured it out. We Googled it, like what to do. And we got the tick off. I gave her another inspection and I ended up finding a second one. And oh my goodness, like ugh, just reliving it right now. I'm like stressed and um, I ended up booking a vet appointment. I read online, it said you don't need to unless um, she's starting to show symptoms or signs of Lyme disease. It said you don't need an appointment, but I just, I need the peace of mind. I'm not the type of person that can just like keep an eye on it. I'd like, I need to know. And so I'm bringing Daisy to the vet hopefully this week and she can be seen and get some new flea and tick medication because clearly she needs it. Anyway, then the night got even worse because as I mentioned, the Leafs played Montreal for game six of the playoffs. They just needed to win one more game. And of course, they lost again in overtime, forcing game seven, which, oh, 
So for Sunday morning, I decided, you know what? Yesterday, like evening, was bad. I want to refocus myself and, you know, be more positive. So I started out the day with my morning coffee, which again, I'm going to use the tassel planner stickers to mark that. And maybe we'll do, I was thinking the light blue, perhaps. It doesn't quite match, but I think it's okay. And we'll pull in another one of these Murdoch Talks morning coffee scripts. I'll just have to trim that off there. All right, and then I did spend the day, or sorry, the morning, just going through our budget for the wedding. So as I mentioned, the alterations for my dress were a little bit less expensive than I was expecting, which of course is like great news. Um, but I just wanted to go over our budget for the wedding again, because, whoops, um, Mike and I are trying very, very, very hard um, to not have any debt from the wedding. Like we want to pay for everything up front. We do not want to have like credit card debt or anything. So um, in order to do that, I just, I like to check in on our budget quite frequently to make sure that we have everything covered, especially like as new expenses start to kind of come in and we're actualizing things versus just like what we had planned to spend. So it was good to go through our budget this morning and we are doing so great. Um, I've just never expected us to be on track to like, I'm being completely honest here. We are not saver type people and it's blown my mind how good we've actually been with it. So um, this is for doing our budgeting in the morning. And then, oh, I do have a planned budget. So this is actually an old sticker from SPC, just a plan budget for the wedding. And we do have more expenses that like, we still don't know the cost of yet. Like um, we haven't looked at wedding bands at all for ourselves, like like ring bands, not like a, a music group. <laughs> anyway, so we haven't looked at wedding bands for myself or for Mike yet. I'm assuming that will be a significant cost, um, but I really don't know. I think Mike's ring will probably be more reasonable because he's not getting like diamonds or anything. He just wants something like fairly plain, which is great for our budget. So let's see, I'm gonna use another circle here. And then what else do we have to budget? I haven't budgeted anything for our wedding favors yet, which of course we're gonna need something for those. Um, but everything else is like almost done, I would say. Like we're, we're pretty good. So this morning also it was beautiful having a car. We decided to make a trip to Costco. I wanted to refill my prescription anyway, so the timing just worked out really well. Um, this prescription bottle is from the GP studio, which I believe her shop is open again, which is exciting. So we'll put that there. Oh my gosh, I hate the way that looks. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. We'll figure something else out, but I hate the way that looks. All right, and then um, I did end up finishing my book. So I decided to start it as an audio book and through um, the Toronto Library, I was actually able to get the audio book, which was handy. And I've never ever done an audio book before. So I thought it was like kind of exciting to give it a try. And I don't know, I've always been kind of judgy about audio books. Like to me, it doesn't seem like you're reading. So it's like, can you count it? But I don't know, you're totally reading it. <laughs> um, but listening to it, you still get the same 
thing out of it. So I've kind of changed my perspective on audiobooks, but I did really, really um, enjoy listening to it. So I'm going to download a few others, I think, and give audiobooks more of a shot. And the fact that you can get them through like the public library and like the app that they have, I think is really, really handy. So I'm excited to rent rent borrow yeah borrow more audiobooks in the future so i did finish something borrowed and so now i'm going to be on to something blue um i think i'm just going to read all of emily giffen's books over again she's honestly my favorite author so i don't know i'm in the mood to binge all of her books i'm pretty sure i've read everything at least once she might have a newer book now that i think about it that i haven't read um, but I'm pretty sure I've read almost all of her books. So I'm excited to get back into it. So Something Blue is next on my reading list. And this refill prescription sticker is from Letters to Apollo. And that's it for the week. I think we can go ahead and fill this out. And then I'll be back to wrap up the video. Here is the spread in full and wow, that silver foil is outstanding. And I really do love the way that this spread turned out. The vibrant blues and purples are just absolutely gorgeous. And I think that's really what is making the silver foil pop so much is like how dark these colors are. It just looks amazing. So thank you so much again for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and check out the description box below for all of my coupon codes and referral links. Talk to you soon. Bye.